You've done so many things. What made you want to write a book about it? Uh, it was time. I was flattered when the, uh, when the, the publisher approached me to do this book. There is a division of Penguin called Celebra that done other books on other Hispanic celebs. Uh, and um, I was just honored, flattered mm -hmm. that uh, I'm a part of a list of uh, Rita Moreno and uh, oh, yeah. Emilio Estefan and yes. Ricky Martin and done, they've done books too over the last few years. So I was ready to tell my story, uh, an immigrant story, a story of, uh, uh, of hard work, survival, mm -hmm. uh, fulfilling the American dream. I mean, that's really, that's right. the essence of the book, especially kind of my, um, what I'm all about as a, as a Hispanic American in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And you grew up in Havana, Cuba, right? Yes, I sure did. And how old were you when you came here? I left when I was, Cuba was eight. But I didn't get to the, I didn't get to the States until I was uh, 12 years old. Wow. Um, lived in Spain, in Costa Rica, and mm -hmm. uh, came to, uh, uh, to the States, to Miami, um, and not knowing a word of English. And I, uh, but music, music was kind of like my, I had to think about music always, especially I'd the so. uh, Anglo music. That was, right. that's what I wanted to do. Right. Uh, from the minute I got to the States, I just all I wanted to engulf myself was just listen to, uh, to the radio and, and Miami was a great city for that because they Who had. Who were some uh, of your favorite art, favorite artists oh, back then? When you. My God, I grew up uh, especially loving singer songwriters. Mm -hmm. uh, C.B. Wonder, Billy Joel, Elton John. Uh, yeah. those, those in particular were my, my favorite, uh, and an R&B bands. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, oh, in particular. Oh my gosh. I mean, the best. Because you know, they are the, the best. best. <laughs> the best right now. <laughs> Absolutely. How did you learn English? I learned English initially by watching television and, and watching game shows and watching soap operas. I, and I didn't want to watch uh, Latin television. Uh -huh. I, I was enamored with wanting to learn English. And really, I think my driving force was the fact that I was just so attracted to entertainment, to American right. entertainment. Uh, and that's what I did. So even without knowing a word of English, I would just sit there and. Uh, uh, watching all these shows and things, and, and it helped me. And it helped me yeah. through the years to uh, overcome um, my accent and overcome the, all those things that dealt with the fact that I, uh, uh, I was a Latino kid mm -hmm. uh, and luckily lived in Miami, which Miami right. is a great city, and, yeah. and the ethnic blending of what mm -hmm. Miami represented helped me a lot, too, so. Woo. Oh, I'm like, what's... Oh, yes. checking out some flicks. That was uh, when I got uh, to Costa Rica. Yeah, my parents. Pura um, vida. Pura vida, that's right. <laughs> that is correct. Costa Rica, what a special country. Oh, it is. It's a beautiful I love that country. country. Yeah. Oh, man. Beautiful um, rainforest. But now, I, I love that you wrote this book because it's so timely. I mean, we talk about immigrants. Immigrants, still, mm -hmm. this is a nation of immigrants. Absolutely. But yet it's still such a relevant topic. Yeah. Uh, Cuba is in the news right now. Absolutely. What do you think about everything that... You uh, know, I, I, uh, I chronicle my experience of, uh, of what's happening uh, right now in the book because of my experience me as a child, uh, mm -hmm. my father was a political prisoner in Cuba. Mm. Uh, and um, so my, my parents suffered a lot. And, right. and we left Cuba uh, looking for a better life, looking for freedom, looking for all those things that, that uh, we got when we came to, um, to the States. And um, so uh, this is a huge leap of faith on behalf mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of the U.S. government. I hope the, the Cuban government kind of does the same now, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's a long <laughs> time it. to not speak. A long time to not have a communications. Really. Absolutely, but uh, God willing, it, it everything will work, work out okay. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I hope this is the first step in the right direction. Um,